Hello everybody, my name is Fidelity Weston and we farm outside Seven Oaks in Kent. We like to keep our cattle outside for all of the year if we possibly can. But this year we've been defeated by the wet weather and the snowy weather. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to tell you a little bit more about our beautiful Hereford cows as they come in for the winter. These are our youngsters. They were born in April last year, so they're about 10 months old. And until last week, we were feeding them our species rich hay up on the hill. But they've had to come in now, and I think they're quite pleased. They've got a lovely straw bed and access to their hay right in front of them. I love seeing the range of grasses and flowers and petals left in the hay. It feels and smells as though they were eating the summer, preserved and packed into the bales. Here you can see a mix of fine and coarser grasses, a variety of seed heads and there are even some remains of the wildflowers. If we feed it to them outside in the winter, it goes, the seed goes on the ground, it's trampled in and we're then effectively moving the flowers and grasses around the farm. Our adult and pregnant cows are always in the barn over the winter. The farm is on heavy clay and we just haven't got our grazing systems right to allow us to keep them out all year. So usually in early December, we bring them down off the hill and put them into the barns. I think they're quite happy in there, but always delighted to go out in the spring. We try and get them out in early April when the land has dried up a bit and they can carve outside straight onto the fresh spring grass. All our beef is pasture for life certified, and this means that we never feed cereals to our animals. We think this is the best way to rear your beef on just on homegrown hay or forage. This is better for the environment and wildlife, better for the cattle who are eating their natural diets and better for human health. Thanks for listening.